Hi, everybody, and Merry Christmas. I am so excited to bring you these fun last minute gifts and Christmas mug ideas. I ran into Dollar Tree and found some things that were left over and I put them together and hopefully you'll find them as fun and creative and festive as I do. So sit back, grab a cup of cocoa and enjoy some of our last minute gift ideas. Hope you enjoy. Hey everybody, I'm Susie and this is Susie's Stuff. Welcome to Station KDIY Channel 146. I'm so happy you're here. I would love it if you click and subscribe and then click the bell to be notified when I upload a new episode. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up or even a comment. So don't touch that dial. Let's go make some stuff. And for our very first project is called Vellum Frame. And this project doesn't have to be for Christmas. You can do this any time of year. I get my frames at Dollar Tree. You can leave it the natural color or you can paint it with some Waverly chalk paint. I'm using ivory from Walmart. And then I'm gonna use some tumbling blocks that I got from Dollar Tree as well to stand it up. Because I can't use the stand that's in there because I have to keep it open so that the light can shine through because we're going to be using some vellum. And I'm just giving it a second coat of the chalk paint and you can paint it any color you like. So this becomes a Christmas project because I'm using Santa and yes, that is me. Um, I guess Santa scared me that day. <laughs> I don't remember that picture and that's my brother. I think my mom said that was in Sears or something. Oh my, I guess I'm showing my age. Um, but I have some vellum that I ordered on Amazon, which I'll link down below. It wasn't very expensive and you get a lot. And I just put it in my printer and printed it right out. And so now we're going to just trim it up according to the size of the glass there. And then we'll uh, tape it inside of the frame. And I'm just pulling out the little clips that are inside of the frame. Just no pressure at all, hardly. And then we're gonna use some glue gun, glue gun to um, press in the glass. And so now I'm ready to add the picture and I'm just going to tape that in there with some tape and we'll get it all prepped and ready for a beautiful light shining behind it. So I'm gonna use a couple of popsicle sticks um, just so I have something for my little tower blocks to stand on. It wouldn't fit in that little groove. And so I used four tower blocks glued together and it's gonna fit perfectly. Now I didn't paint them because it's just for me, but if you're gonna give it as a gift, you might wanna paint them the same color as your frame. And now I'm using these remote control um, battery operated lights. I love them. And I also have a push light that I got at Dollar Tree. And the push light gives more of a whiter light and the battery operated candles give that glow, that yellow glow, which I really love. And the camera really doesn't do it justice. It looks pretty good, but in person, it is so awesome. This vellum really is really cool. I wanna do it with some more projects. Um, but I hope you enjoy this. We're gonna do two more. See if you like those. And I just think it's really easy and inexpensive. So now I'm just gonna use four photo frames from Dollar Tree and we're gonna make it into a lantern. I printed out a few of the pictures. There's me and my dad. That was our last Christmas together. Um, I really loved that picture. And I thought I might use uh, this one in there, but I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, this one is me in teaching first grade with one of my students. Um, you can see the vellum at the top there. That was a friend of mine that we met Santa. And there's my cat, Coco Baby's Queen Princess. <laughs> and that's my mom. And so I just need four. 
and you'll see which ones I choose here in just a minute. But we're gonna do the same process. I'm gonna take everything out. The only thing is I'm not gonna paint them. I do like it, the black color. So I'm just gonna pull these out and then we're gonna cut down all of the pictures that will fit into the glass. absolutely love those little cutting mats. I got those at Dollar Tree. Keep your eye out for those and grab them. I saw somebody <clears throat> put like three or four of them together to make one large mat, which is pretty smart. Um, but I, I love those mats. They're perfect for little small projects. So now I'm just putting some glue in there and we're going to glue all the glass down. And those are the four pictures that I chose for our lantern. I'm also going to be using some, this was a little awkward to show, but I'm using some of those little um, wooden cubes that you get at Dollar Tree and I'm putting them in there to sort of hold them together because they won't, it won't glue by itself, so you need something in there to hold it. It was kind of awkward, but I had to get a couple of them started, but then I got it and um, it worked out really well. Wanted to put some greenery inside. I do like this beautiful flocked piece of greenery, <clears throat> but I don't end up using it. I do have these um, Hobby Lobby poinsettias. They're actually on sale right now, so grab them. They're awesome. I've used them for many projects, and um, they sit real nice inside. And so I'm also going to be putting some of the battery-operated lights inside. I'm just trying to fix it so it doesn't cover up the pictures as much. So this first shot I used the little push light uh, from Dollar Tree. It's really white. It looks nice but if you don't want to get out of your seat you use that battery operated and I do love this because it flickers like the real candles inside and I love that yellow color. I love that picture of me and my dad. It's so pretty and I think he would like this lantern too. So there it is. I hope you enjoy. It's super easy, very inexpensive and a beautiful conversational piece. And for my last vellum project, I'm gonna be making a vellum New Year's frame. And so I just have one of those uh, stand-up um, Dollar Tree frames, it's clear. And then I just created this little Happy New Year um, uh, graphic on my computer and printed it onto a vellum sheet. And now I'm just gonna pull this out and we're gonna use that to uh, create the size of my mat, sort of. And, oh yeah, there's a clear film on this frame, so make sure you pull that off. And that little dotted uh, sheet is from Hobby Lobby. It's the more um, stiffer uh, sheet of scrapbook paper. And um, I think it's like $1.99, and uh, you can get it for half off. And so I'm gonna cut out the center so it can serve at, there's my vellum package. And then I'm going to um, use my little mat board to sort of mark off an inside, uh, sort of a mat for my picture. I love my little cutter. It's gonna be perfect. I'm just gonna cut inside, I'm not gonna cut all the way. So we're just going to cut out the center um, rectangle part and leave the rest for the mat. Ta-da! It cut it out perfectly, perfectly straight. And so now I'm just going to take my vellum little graphic sheet and tape it on there to uh, create the mat. And then we're just gonna slip it inside of the frame. It's so easy. Now just pick up a little uh, battery pack of lights. I got the, those at Dollar Tree. They have them all the time. And I just taped it around the back and then slipped the pack in the back. Oh, that's so cute. Happy New Year. Can you believe it's 2021? Oh goodness, I hope we have a better 
better year this year. Come on, 2021. So I'm using one of those little push uh, things. I don't like it. Um, the little lights look really cute in there and um, it'd be perfect to um, set up like in your entryway or on your refrigerator top or something like that. Um, I just think it's really fun and festive, super easy. I'm really liking the vellum. I hope you do too. And now let's move on to our fun Christmas gifts and so inexpensive. They're cozy mugs and I got start want to start off by showing you these buttons that I got at Walmart and these are some mugs still available at Dollar Tree. They always have the white mugs and they always have those red mugs and they always have these baby blankets. Now they always have the plaid one but I just saw the one that's striped. I've not seen that one before. So this is going to work great. I cut out um, let's see one two three four five six seven eight squares by two and that fit around the mug pretty nicely and so I'm going to measure that and cut out the same length for the striped one. Now this is not the best in the world. I'm not a sewer and um, I just thought this was really fun for the holidays. It's not something that I would use all the time but I just think it's so festive and fun to create these little cozies for your mugs. So now I'm just going to take the end and try to make it look nice on the end and it's make it a little bit thicker for the button and the loop to go through. So I'm going to do that to both of them. So Dollar Tree is a great place to grab some last minute gifts. When I went, uh, most of their ornaments were gone, so you won't be getting any ornaments right now, but I just went the other day. They have um, a lot of really cool stuff left and some items that you see all the time, like these mugs and these blankets, and you can uh, turn them into some Christmas uh, flair. And so I'm gonna give these to some of my um, friends, um, my neighbors down the street. And I think they'll love these. So we're going to hot glue the giant button on there. And I love the green button. It's so cute. It's going to be perfect for this cozy. And then next, I'm just going to cut a little slip. I'm going to fold it in half and then cut a little slip. And, and folding it and gluing it really made it thicker to hold on a little bit better. And so that slips on there really nicely. A friend last year uh, crocheted one for me. I, I don't really crochet, but it was really cute and I use it for the holiday time. So look at that, how cute is that? Oh my goodness, I love that. You can use any color button. Um, and then we're gonna decorate that. We're gonna put some really cool things inside of the mugs. And again, cut, slit, and put it around your cup. Hee <laughs> hee, these are so cute. Oh my goodness, just like that is a perfect little gift. It's not the best in the world, but like I said, it's just for this for the holiday season. So we're going to take this one and make it into a snowflake mug. And there's some Christmas cards that there's a lot left. And there was one with the snowflake on it. And it just pulls right off. And I lost the footage of, um, or I didn't actually have my camera on. But I just traced around it with some um, cardboard and uh, cut around it. And I'm going to use some filler and some of the candy canes from Dollar Tree. And then I have some of these beautiful kisses that are, I think they're white chocolate. And I thought it went well with the cup um, theme, the red and the, and the white and the off-white. And so I'm just gonna shove that in there and I made a slit on there and it fits right on the mug, the snowflake. And we're gonna pop some of the kisses in there and a little um, candy cane. And we are ready to give it away. So now let's decorate the white mug and we're going to call this the Elf Lights mug. And if you were lucky enough to find these little, uh, this is a little ornament from Dollar Tree. I bought it earlier in the season 
and so now we're going to use it uh, with the mug. So I have these little um, styrofoam spheres and we're going to use some skewers and we're going to pop those skewers into the legs. Then we're going to cut it and we're going to pop those into, well, the feet. And, going to, and then I'm going to hot glue it around. You'll see. So I just used one of those little clips to sort of get that thing to stick down. And now I'm going to grab some wooden beads that I have laying around. I'm just going to use three on each one and I'm going to hot glue the last one on there so it will stay up. I just think this gives it a really high end flare. I love it uh, and use these beads a lot. Um, I think they look good natural. You could paint them if you like, but I just wanted to do something super quick and I thought it was really cute. And now I just cut off a little bit of the end. Oh, they're so cute. Do, 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 do. And now I'm going to stick it right in there. It works perfectly. And then we're going to decorate the rest. Um, I got these little, I always grab these little necklaces. Everybody loves them. And um, they kind of make you crazy because they do flash, but they fit perfectly in there. I couldn't believe it. I thought, let me just try it. And if it doesn't work, then I'll just get rid of this, this video but it worked perfectly they stood up just nicely and what a great gift so they have a mug they can wear it with their blinking light necklace and play with the little elf shoes la 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 <laughs> so i love this little quick gift it's super cute who wouldn't want to receive this So I hope you're able to run out to Dollar Tree. All these items I got last minute and it came together really beautifully and fun. And um, you can make all kinds of little cozies to go around your coffee mugs. I did try some socks, but they didn't work. It raveled too much. And so the baby blankets worked really cute. And if you crochet, hey, send me one. I love a crochet cozy. So enjoy these today. Here comes another quick little gift idea. It's called Mickey Spirits Bride Cake Mug. You always see that cake um, mug treat at Dollar Tree. And I found this really cute um, mug at Dollar General. It's $2. And then, of course, a little elf hat. And they have tons of elf hats left at Dollar Tree. So I took out the packages from the little... Um, cake uh, mug thing and the directions are on the package so you don't need to to keep the box and then it has some icing that comes with it so the little elf hat fits perfectly inside the mug I love all of the colors and then all we're gonna do is just add a little bow um, this ribbon I got at Hobby Lobby half off I love that beautiful red plaid tie it around there add a bow and then I'm gonna throw in a peppermint stick and some holly and we're done Oh, I added many peppermint sticks. How cute is that? Oh my goodness, I love it. And how long did it take me to make? Three seconds, one, two, three, four, four dollars. Maybe a five dollar gift with the, um, with the bow and everything. But here it is, how cute. And that mug is really well made. So check out Dollar Tree and Dollar General and pick up your supplies to make this super Making Spirits Bright gift idea. 
And for our next little gift mug, it's the Merry Twixmas mug. Now, this is not original. I have seen this on Pinterest many times, but I'm gonna put my own spin on it. When you walk into Dollar Tree right now, tons of mugs are left over. I just, I think I'm a mugaholic. I love them so much. They're so cute, you can do so many things with them. And how cute is this Santa mug? I also picked up one of the little hats. They have tons of hats left over now, too. And then I have my little um, spheres, my little foam spheres. I also picked up some Twix and some of the little um, chocolate Santas. They have a ton of candy left over. So I'm just taking some skewers and I'm just hot gluing all my Twix and my little Santa. And now it's time to put it all together. So put the ball right inside of the cup and um, the hat fits right in there perfectly. And so we're just gonna throw in all of the Twix candies on a stick. I do trim it off just a little bit so that they're not too tall and they're easy, easily pushed down into the, the styrofoam. They also had some of these little bracelets, these little Jingle Bell bracelets, how cute, perfect for Santa. And so I'm just gonna throw that on this little Twix, but I end up moving it over onto the Santa. I don't like it there because I'm gonna make this tag out of cardboard. It's not gonna last very long, so I just want it to be simple yet elegant. And so I'm gonna use this black Sharpie and we're gonna write a little message right on there, Merry Twixmas. <laughs> And finishing that right up, I'm going to uh, grab some of the Baker's Twine. They have that in the little um, crafting section at Dollar Tree. Always have this on hand. And uh, we're just going to grab a little bit, beat it through, and then we'll tie it on our mug. And then that is just about it. I love this one. A little bit more candy, but it's so cute. And just if you just take the time to make it really um, cute and get some ideas on Pinterest. I think anybody would just love to get this. I don't necessarily like to put cellophane on it. Sometimes I do, but sometimes you can't see what's in it when you give it to them. And so I just love leaving it just like this. How fun! Merry Twixmas! And for this super quick, super easy project is called Poinsettia Mug. I don't know if it can get any easier than this. I ran into Dollar General to see what they have left. Of course they have some mugs left over and I found this mug with an S on it for Susie's stuff and it was two dollars and then I ran over to Walmart to see if they had any mini um, poinsettias. They do. This one was not the best one. It's kind of scarce right now but I got it for um, three dollars so this whole little thing was five dollars and just adding a bow to it jazzes it right up and makes just a simple elegant sweet little gift So what do you think of my little Charlie Brown poinsettia? He's so cute and I'm so happy with how this turned out. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think and tell me about some of your uh, mug gift ideas. I would love to know how you decorate your mugs. Are you ready for this one? <laughs> it's called Santa Tizer. I had not seen this. I just found out about it on Pinterest. I'm like, oh, I have to make that. I need to make my own little version. Oh my goodness, how cute. So I found these little hats. They have a ton of the little mini hats at Dollar Tree left over. 
Um, it comes in this little, um, it's called like a wine thing where it comes, it covers like a bottle of wine, but the hat is what I wanted. And um, it fits perfectly on a, on a little bottle of sanitizer. And so I just printed out this little, um, little Santa suit. And then the sign or the little tag, I just printed off on some cardstock. It fits perfectly on there. Get your baker's twine out, ready to go. How cute. Oh my goodness, I would love to receive this. Somebody who thought of a Santa Tizer sure was clever, but I love that I got to create my own version and I hope you can make some too. Hey, it would be really cute with some like little mini bottles, the little mini ones like uh, you keep in your purse and things. Um, that would be cute to add a little Santa hat to. So there it is, ready to go and keep my hands sanitized. sanitized. Enjoy. Oh, I think Santa approves and so does Rudolph. Make yours today. And for my very, very last Christmas project this year is called my bubble box. <laughs> I got these boxes from um, Hobby Lobby. They're always left over. If you run in the store right now, you'll find them. I don't know why people don't use these more. They're so cute. And the plaid, oh my goodness, the buffalo check is perfect. I got them for $4.99, half price. You get 10 in a box. And then these bubbles, oh, I have to play with them just for a second. I love bubbles. And so does everyone. And so do kids. It'd be perfect for a little child gift. And... I, all I'm, all I'm going to do is add a little gingham bow that I got from Dollar Tree, as well as the bubbles. It was a little six pack of bubbles and some filler. And check out these little Tic Tacs. They have, I didn't really show you, but they have little mini um, candy canes on them. I got those at the grocery store. I picked them up. And then the last final touch is the little chalkboard, little name tag thingies from Dollar Tree, you get four for a dollar. And then my little white Sharpie, I'm going to make this gift to you all. Say thank you so much for watching my channel and um, I'm looking forward to a really great new year. And so this is my gift from Susie. Hee <laughs> hee. And they clip on the little box perfectly. And that's it. How cute is this little box? I love little mini things like that. Oh, how darling. I love it. And here comes Santa. I think he might approve as well. Ho, 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 Santa. And taking one last look at all of our projects that we did today, our vellum projects, they are so elegant and beautiful and you can use these any time of year. And then all of our little gift mug ideas. I hope that you um, have been inspired by some of the ones that I made and see what you can come up with. I'm looking forward to next Saturday. I've been uploading on Saturday mornings and um, that'll be the day after Christmas, so I think we're going to be looking at some fun winter, snowman, and all kinds of fun January projects. So stay tuned for next Saturday. I hope you enjoyed all the projects today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and comment down below. I'll see you next time on another episode of Susie's Stuff. KDIY Channel 146. Bye, everybody.